Hi, my name's Allison. I tried to make a video about something I care a lot about, and it's this game right here. Specifically, the Revelations route in this game. I sat down, wrote a script, recorded the audio, everything. It was about an hour long, and it was trash. I cannot begin to tell you how bad and boring it was. And being the supreme genius that I am, I was like, oh man, I'm really not happy with this video. What can I do to make it good? And instead of being like, okay, well, there are some parts of it that are salvageable, I will take those parts and I will trim the fat and make it into a good video. No, I didn't do that. Instead, I was like, oh, I think I know the reason why um, I don't like the video, and it's because it's too negative. I have a bit of a really sharp peak, and then it drops off really quick for, like, my anger. I can't maintain anger for a long period of time. I get tired. <laughs> it's far easier for me to be positive than negative. So I was like, okay, I'll add more positive stuff, more things that I like, uh, and, and that'll make the video good. But then I was like, oh, but what if I also talk about the other games that I like? So let's let's talk about Awakening, because that was my first Fire Emblem game. It means a lot to me. So I added that, but then I was like, I gotta be critical of it too. I can't just be like gushing over it. That's not fair. So added that. Oh, Three Houses is out. I should, I should talk about that too. I hadn't finished Three Houses, by the way. I just played one route. Uh, Blue Lions. Hell yeah. So the video that was really bad um, was now two hours. Uh, actually, I think two and a half hours. And it was worse! <laughs> and that's fine, you know? Just, just throw it away, move on with your life, everything will be fine. But here's the problem. I, I filmed some things for it. Maybe they're not as funny as I, I think that they are, but I... I just wanted to share one bit in particular to give context to what I'm about to show you because this is literally gonna be the whole thing. This video is gonna be like five minutes long. This is the dumbest thing I've ever done. I compared Fire Emblem Fates to a cake because I'm gonna use food metaphors. No one can stop me. I compared it to a cake where the baker didn't know what kind of cake that they wanted to make. And so they just kept adding shit in there. They kept adding, they added chocolate and they add, they wanted, well, maybe elements of like a cheesecake and, um, and then like some weird stuff, like specifically I mentioned like broccoli and avocado, just because it's things that you like, um, but it doesn't necessarily go with the cake. Kind of to compare, you know, the elements that I felt were added in to Fates that were too much and detracted from the overall experience as opposed to added it. So, made the cake. I guess I'll put that here now. So just pretend that I had done like the video essay and ooh, it's mm, metaphor and that's this now, here. Well, 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 it seems I am home alone, and therefore there is no one here to stop me from making mistakes. How unfortunate for everyone involved. Food metaphor. So my goal is I'm gonna try and actually make the Fire Emblem cake that I have been uh, referencing throughout this video. I'm not looking at my script right now, but I'm pretty sure I said cheesecake specifically. Um, so fun fact, you can't make a cheesecake with with like cake. So I, um, I'm gonna cheat a little bit. By the way, it's uh, less fat. You, you think I want, you think I want my cake to be fattening? We're a healthy household here. You can see with my multiple boxes of chocolate. Cream cheese frosting with the cream cheese. This banana is kind of green. I'll make it work. Oh, these two, these, these guys are gonna be what does it for me. But I'm gonna figure it out. I have a plan for the avocado. Because, okay, well I actually have a, a plan for both the avocado and the banana. Bananas can be used as a substitute for egg. Avocados can be used as a substitute for butter. 
this cake doesn't call for, for butter, but <laughs> it calls for oil. And butter can be used as a substitute for oil. So, so, if I substitute a substitute for a substitute, it'll work, right? I just have to use less egg and oil. <laughs> Alright, so, after thinking it over, I think I have a plan. There's things you can do to hide uh, vegetables in chocolate. So, like, like moms who are trying to get their kids to eat more vegetables, they can, you know, like, mix broccoli into brownies somehow. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna attempt to combine the broccoli with the chocolate. So, broccoli takes a million bazillion years to cook, so I'm gonna get this started, gonna boil it super much. That way I can get it to turn into like a paste, like a, 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 a broccoli puree. All right, the broccoli is a boiling. I have all of the chocolate chopped up into itty bitty pieces. So I'm going to put that over a very low heat. I'm actually going to put this pot inside another pot and that pot's filled with water and I'm gonna put that on very low heat because you don't want your chocolate to burn. Yes, uh, and then banana. Oh, banana. <laughs> Banana has been pureed. Mmm. Doesn't that look good? I'm starting to think I might have made a mistake here. Avocado. This looks... Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds of uncertainty. I think I'm going to add one egg. I don't think I'm gonna add any oil. That looks like plenty of avo uh, avocado to replace the oil. But the recipe on the back of this box of Funfetti Cake Mix calls for three eggs. So I'm gonna plop one egg in there and hope that's enough. I also might add like a single spoonful of oil. Oh, uh, this is gonna be one wet cake. Maybe I shouldn't add the oil, huh? Maybe I should have measured anything. Nah. Now that I've added the chocolate, it just looks like chocolate, so this is going great. I'm feeling much more optimistic. The texture is a little, I don't know if you can see that, it's a little lumpy, but hey, it's looking a lot better than where we started. All right, I have added the Funfetti cake mix. Um, and I'm a little bit concerned because I did the thing that any reasonable person making a cake will do and uh, licked the beater and it doesn't taste super good. The, the confidence was, was coming back and it's, it's, it's kind of going <laughs> going away again. We're gonna keep going. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to make this work. So I'm gonna cook this at a lower temperature and for longer than what it wants me to do because we have a lot of wet ingredients here and so what I really don't want to happen is for it to like collapse in the middle. So gonna lower the temperature a bit and pop it in the oven and then I'm gonna start making my frosting. Jeez, all right, here we are, moment of truth. I uh, got my cream cheese frosting on there, got everything all together. Uh, have quite a bit of cream cheese frosting left. I will probably eat that later, shamefully. Um, I have put sprinkles on the top because I'm hoping that the aesthetic will make it um, more edible somehow. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this shit in. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. So just like Fire Emblem fates itself, the cake is not very structurally sound. As you can see, it's kind of uh, crumbling apart here. Uh, just uh, stay, stay together, man. All right, bon appetit. Oh my God, that ain't bad. That tastes like brownies. How does that work? The batter tasted disgusting. Why is it fine now? All right, well, video disproven. I guess Fire Emblem Fates is a good game because this cake is fine. So, um, I'm wrong, I'm stupid. I'm so sorry. Anyway, so yeah, that was, uh, that was the cake. <sighs> By the way, I uh, mentioned at the very end there that the structure wasn't very good and I was like, ha ha ha, uh, just like the game, jokes on me because all I really needed to do is let it sit in the fridge, you know, like a cake, and it 
solidified and it became really good and it was perfectly fine. So look at me being an asshole, <laughs> wasting my time and being wrong.